Hello everyone and welcome to Locations 101, a new video series where I will be explaining in detail every location in Last Day on Earth. We'll cover the loot you can get, the zombies you'll encounter, and the best strategies to clear these locations. I hope this series helps you on your beginner journey in LDOE. The motel is a location introduced in Beta V1.9.9 and has undergone many changes. It is located north of the global map, next to Crooked Creek Farm, with a threat level of two skulls. It requires 24 energy to travel to the motel, and it resets every 36 hours. The motel is divided into two main sections, the surface area and the basement. Let's go over the surface area first. The outside area consists of a few trees and basic resources like fiber, rocks, and berries, with two loot chests. In the grill, you can find scrap metal, jerky, coal, turkey, or roasted turkey. In the broken car, you can find spare parts and a shotgun, though it's extremely rare. Inside the motel, you'll encounter a blocked entrance that requires a gas cylinder to blow up. After that, you'll access rooms with chests inside. The loot consists of low-tier armor, cloth, thick fabric, low-tier weapons, bandages, and a guaranteed grenade, which requires Burglar Level 2 to access. Each room has barricaded doors that, when approached, may break open, releasing zombies. You can also break the doors with a Level 1 hatchet. Inside the rooms, you'll find loot like bolts, duct tape, ball bearings, wiring, locks and keys, cigarettes, expensive watches, mobile phones, scrap metal, broken cameras, flashlights, and a small chance of finding a Glock. In the surface area, you can encounter the following zombies. The second section of the motel, the basement, can be accessed through an entrance located at the bottom left of the map. To enter it, you will need to have the Burglar Skill Level 3 unlocked. Inside the basement, you'll find a couple of chests that usually contain batteries, nails, spare parts, and screws, which are used for settlements. The zombies here are random, but these are the types you could encounter. Now that we have an overview of the location, let's talk about strategy. I recommend bringing a spear, a skull crusher, a crowbar, and a couple of berries or beans. No armor required. First, clear the outside area with the spear and grab the stone and wood lying on the ground. Inside the motel, kill the first zombies and take the gas cylinder to blow up the blocked entrance. Three zombies will come out. Use the spear or skull crusher to one-shot them. Next, you'll need to kill the Weeper. Use the Skull Crusher with a sneak attack, then finish her off with three hits. Avoid her scream to prevent getting stunned. 
kill the zombies inside the rooms and craft a hatchet to destroy the blocked door. Use the wall trick with the spear to kill floater bloaters and prioritize killing the fast zombies first. If your weapons break, you can use the ones you find inside the chests, along with armor and healing items. Keep wall tricking the zombies and you'll be fine. Now, onto the basement section. By the entrance, you'll usually find two to three fast rotters, which you can sneak attack with the skull crusher. You may also find fast rotters lying on the ground, which will wake up as you approach them. When you open the door, three toxic spitters will attack you. Hide behind the door and wall trick them, but be careful of the small gap where they can hit you. A crawler will come through the vent. Kill the remaining zombies and the toxic abomination using the door as a wall trick spot.
and that's it. We've fully cleared the motel using only a spear and a couple of beans. From that, we got some melee weapons, a grenade, and resources. For the final part of the video, let's talk about why you'd want to clear the motel. As a beginner, you'll want to clear it regularly to get items like batteries, mobile phones, and expensive watches, as they are crucial for obtaining high-tech components, electronic circuits, and copper bars when recycled. You may also want the melee weapons to clear other areas, and the spare resources are required for many crafting recipes and repairing various terminals, such as the ones in the police department. For advanced players, you'll need to clear the motel to get screws, which are essential for settlements. Additionally, the guaranteed grenade is useful for police department waves. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you found it useful, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more quality content. Next up on our list will be the factory, so stay tuned and activate notifications so you don't miss out. Bye-bye.